there is a fake Da Vinci, beyond that known to man, and women if you want to be PC about it. It is a dimension as vast as a fat man's backside and as persistent as that rash which you really should have got checked out. It is the middle ground between staples and chickens, between science and that weird tingly feeling you get when you know shit's about to go down. And it lies between the smell of a man's pits and the pendulum of his penis. It is a load of bollocks which we call headless chickens. It's a horror show, a show about horror. Horror? Yeah. It doesn't sound very funny. <laughs> no, it is. It's hilarious. Trust me. Right. It's going to be great. Um, <clears throat> what is it? <laughs> um, falls, right? Because, because people fall over all the time in horror movies, usually when they're being chased by a very slow monster, yeah. and they also fall over quite a lot in comedy. <laughs> there you go. Like, horror comedy. Like that bit in Hot Fuzz, when he's running through the model village and then he trips over and his chin gets stabbed <laughs> through the church tower. Yeah. Uh, That's inspired, Bob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> I, I would say that it is also maybe just a, a little bit gross. Yeah, right, yeah, sorry about that. Mum did say, actually, she said people would walk out if we put anything too gross into the opening. And that's why we have removed the section of the show about the possessed girl using the crucifix as a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> right. But don't worry, because there is plenty of other hilariously horrific stuff left for you to watch. Um, lots of stuff that we haven't yet cut. Um, and so if you are of a mind to, we would encourage you, if you're electronically enabled to take photographs and share them all over social media please tag us also um if you've got a hat you can just sit there smugly and not do anything if you want that's fine too um but they are going to be astounded by these various comedic sketches that we've got coming up like for example a partially broken drowned japanese murder victim uh, amusingly cursing members of the audience yeah <laughs> or or there's that, there's that bit in The Godfather, right, when the mobster wakes up and he finds the headless horseman in his bed. No? Or, or the, um, <laughs> the spawn of Satan being born screaming into the night to a slavering she-jackal named Rosemary. <laughs> and it doesn't get more horrific than that. Thank you, I, thank you. I stand corrected. Hello, Mum. <laughs> Have um, you done the face bit yet? If you must. My biggest fear is a fear of geeks. Oh. I know that one. Isn't that anarachnophobia? Oh. <laughs> Particularly party political kids such as Young Conservatives, Momentum, Babies for UK, Babies for Trump UK. Babies. Oh, yeah. I've recently joined the Scottish National Party. You're a bit green for that one, aren't you, Bob? But you're not even Scottish. My dad was Scottish. I keep telling you, Bob. I can't remember who your dad was. <laughs> so um, what you're saying is he could have been Scottish. <laughs> My biggest fear is fear of being abandoned. Oh, don't worry, boy, Sean, I'd never do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest fear is uh, standing up here, looking out at a sea of expectant chubby faces and, and suddenly realising I haven't a bollock in monkeys what my next line is. <laughs> I see. So Kiff, today is part of your aversion therapy. You're so brave. No, because I have made a point of learning all my lines for every sketch this year. Really? What? <laughs> yeah. Really? Even the one of Freddy Krueger and his piano lesson? Us! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to 
people are around that stage. I think you're supposed to be out there in the audience, mate. No, I think I'm in the right place. Uh, Mum, is he one of your um, groupies? Yeah. <laughs> well, if he is, things are looking up. Oh, no, no, don't make it weird. That's how you scared Jamie off. <laughs> hey, I'm on. Um, I really need you to help me just run through these lines before we start the show. Probably bear with us. Uh, we're uh, going for the bit that you usually screw up. Yeah, yeah, that's the bit. Um, and then uh, we'll just run through for the rest of the sketch from there. Right. So um, I'm practicing and practicing. I'm not getting any better. <laughs> All you need to do is is this is a nightmare. A nightmare. Just run your hands over the keys and pretend you're caressing a woman's ivory skin. I imagine it's a sleeping kid's face. No. <laughs> Can't I use my left hand then, you know, baby steps? Just play the fucking piano, Freddy. <laughs> That's the problem. Whenever I play the piano, I keep hitting the black notes with my finger blades. They're called sharps. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this one of Jamie's self-car sketches? What do you mean? He's been a right misery lately, hasn't he? Freddy Krueger's slightly amusing piano lesson. It sounds like one of Jamie's. Where'd you get this? Jamie gave it to me. When? Just now, in the dressing room. Jamie's in the dressing room? Yeah. Wait a minute. Was he the guy that I saw with the, the mangled ankles chained to the typewriter? That's right, yes. Keith, you didn't! He was going to leave! I had to do something. <laughs> It's not like I've decapitated him or anything, is it? Oh, no, no. Oh. I'm just going to go see if he's written the second act, all right? See how that goes. Can I back? back. Oh, that! I needed that! What else have you cut without telling me? There's the one where Norman Bates' mother wins the uh, Nobody Knees contest at Butlins. Yeah. And the grudge that stole Christmas. The grudge that stole Christmas? I spent weeks writing that poem. Yeah, we wasted minutes reading it. Look, that, that was a valuable pastiche of modern consumerist society. This isn't funny, you know. That's what she said. <laughs> so, uh, Marty, what's your biggest fear then? Performing in front of a large audience. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you ready to perform then? I just have one question. Okay, you can ask me anything you like. Who do you think would win the fight between a black killer or the, the creature from the Black Lagoon? Who the hell is black killer? Well, you know, he's like Dracula, but black. <laughs> Are you sure? Because the creature from the Black Lagoon, he's been around since the dawn of time, so, you know, what I'm trying to say is he must have learned some pretty mean moves since then, and Black, you know, he's just got fangs, hasn't he? Right. And funky beats. No soul. No. Oh. <laughs> so who would win, do you think? Well, neither of them, because they're both made up. No, they're both real films. I've seen both of them. Well, I haven't. Because I don't really watch horror films. I think that's all a bit gruesome. But you must have seen, like, The Purge, right? No. You must have seen The Invisible Man, though. Of course I haven't seen The Invisible Man. Friday <laughs> <laughs> the 13th. Oh. So? No, I haven't seen Friday the 13th. So? <laughs> I'm sure I haven't seen it. Will you stop going on no, about no, it? No, no, did you see so? <laughs> if you haven't seen Saw, uh, have you seen Saw 2?